Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today's return, kinda, of Persona 3. This is a brand new game uh, as of today. That never happens here. Persona 3 Reload. This is a two for one video, two different songs. This is Full Moon, Full Life from the channel Persona Radio. And it's going down now from Anime OST V2 channel. So, um, I had a Platinum member uh, subscribe so I, so they can like push this to the very front. That's what they did. So, I've never done something so recent, so <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if this is a quote-unquote remake, remaster. I don't know those terms. They get used interchangeably all the time. I don't know if it's the same composer as per usual, Shoji Maguru. But I was told that these songs are original to this game. So, they're brand new. That's interesting. I have heard some Persona 3 before. It's 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 really cool. It's one of my favorite Persona soundtracks. So let's just get into it. This is requested by Keats. Full moon, full life to begin. How exciting, hearing something new. Let's go. Well, it sounds like Persona, so that's... I wonder if they used any motifs in this. Not that I would recognize them, but I wonder if they if they went that far, you know. Ooh. I don't recognize this. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> the return of Lotus Juice? He's still around? Whoa, whoa. That's a new flavor. You can still hear the piano in the background, that's really cool. It sounds like... If no one told me that these were original songs, I would have just guessed it from the original Persona 3. It has that, like, DNA. Oh, I love it. The piano chords. This is weird. It's like a... It's like a time machine or something. <laughs> Like this kind of pop punk feel to it. This is so bizarre. I can't explain it, but it's just, it's bizarre. I'm really curious what Persona 3 fans think about this song. Is that Shoji? I'm 
won't be so broken unless I conduct it diligently, patiently, and trust it myself. Nothing was given to me, so gonna go on it. Everything is another one. If that's him, recent, then he sounds exactly the same. When was the original for someone? One pain is why it must really hurt. Loud and clear is dirty, all the ones we meet. She knows he's. 2006. Wow. Almost two decades. I like that back and forth between him and her. This part sounds like another song. Yeah, this part right here. <laughs> I'm so curious what the comment section is going to be for this. We still have another one, though. Another song uh, from Persona 3 Reload. This is It's Going Down Now. A little shorter. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so that's that's a callback. What is that for my dread? Lotus Zeus is like like ASMR rapper. Oh. That kind of sounds like an extension of the last one. Ooh. That's sick. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Yo, the beat is so fast. Who was that? Was that Lotus? So catchy here. I'm trying to remember if I've heard this singer before. Battle themes, I'm assuming. That's so good. <laughs> this is going to sound weird, and it's not a recency bias. That's one of my favorite like Persona songs I've heard. <laughs> because of that dis um, distinguishable, you know, damn, damn, damn. It reminds me of like old school hip hop with the turntable stuff. It's kind of what I was emulating. Dude, I'm actually like, this is odd. Cause there's, there's a high chance that this video will bring in 
new viewers. If so, uh, hello. And please let me know if you are a new viewer. So you're like, who's this guy? Why is he talking so much? So I discovered Persona here on the channel. I have, I have yet to ever play one. I've only heard music from it from five, four, pretty much all of them. And it's one of my most popular series. I have a lot of Persona requests. And I do recall like three had like a very distinct style of like this kind of almost new metal-ish rock rap thing with some jazz influence as well. But the, the big thing is like very catchy choruses and Lotus Juice. So please like fill me in is like, are those new recordings of him? <laughs> like, cause he sounds exactly the same. Even the recording quality sounds like it could have been from 2006. Um, and I don't recall if I've heard the, the woman singer, maybe, I don't remember. I, I have heard another vocalist in Persona 3, but it had a different, she had a different sound. You know, the one from uh, Burn My Dread, that she sounded way different. So let me know if uh, whoever that was has also come back or whatever. This is bizarre because from what I know, Persona 3 is very highly regarded as like this is people's favorite Persona, uh, what got them into the series, etc., etc. And to me, as a complete outsider, mind you, this sounded very, dare I say, seamless. It sounded like the only reason I'm saying that is because right before uh, I heard it, I was asking um, people in my Discord. I'm like, hey, you know, do these songs uh, are are they in the original or you know, like what's like just give me a quick quick story about him? And they told me that these are all new songs. So if, if that wasn't told to me, I would have never guessed that ever, because to me, I just would be under the assumption that all these songs are just remade and remastered. So, I mean, is that, is that true? I still don't know if it's true or not, but that's just what I was told because both of those <laughs> sounded, uh, quite in line with the whole thing. That's why I was wondering, like, I'm really curious what persona fans who played this the original would think about this, you know, does it, I, you know, I would be, I, I would willing to be willing to bet that you would play this game. Like say you haven't played since 2006, like you played a long time ago and then you're like, oh, let's play the, this one. You might hear these and then think to yourself, are these new or have I heard these before? You know, like, that's what I mean. Like they're kind of just, they seem to blend. So anyways, enough about that. But that's just how I feel. It's, it's interesting. And that's coming from me who has never played it, just from an outside perspective. Because when I hear Lotus Juice and the rapping thing and the, the jazz chords, everything just was, you know, very uniform. Both these songs, though, I will, I will admit, uh, sounded like a continuation of each other. Not to say that they weren't separate enough, but they definitely sounded like one long song in a way like phase one, phase two, or in the same realm that they play in type of thing. <clears throat> and from what I've noticed, these kind of higher energy songs, though not always, seem to be more uh, relegated to the battle stuff. So encounters, what have you. So let me know if if there's new fights. I, do, I don't know. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's like a one-to-one -one copy or if they did kind of like what Remake did with Seven and they just like changed things up a bunch. So I don't know if there's new bosses or a new story or, you know, I have no idea. But it's it's definitely different for me because, um, you know, I have a, like a waiting list of songs. I never do stuff that's current, let alone same day. <laughs> so by the time you're watching this, it's probably going to be like, uh, like 24 hours or 48 hours after the game release, but I'm currently recording it like a couple hours after it was released here. So very cool. I really liked the second one, but they were both fantastic. Um, more guitar than I'm used to, you know, it had that nice, like, um, I don't know if Paramore is the right comparison here, but you know, that kind of like pop punk sort of catchy vocal. Oh, that reminds me. 
I've said this before, but with Persona, it's it's unbelievable how much of their music it seems they go out of their way to make it as memorable as possible. Everything has such a hook to it. Almost every song has some sort of thing that you're gonna remember. It's crazy. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. You know, I've yet to hear something that's oh no, that's not true. There's one song that uh, is infamous that I kind of didn't really vibe with. Um, I forgot his name because I don't remember it, but it's it's here somewhere. Someone will tell you. Uh, but that was cool. Really cool. I still have another request for this game, so I'll be checking that out soon. Let me know what you think of Persona 3 Reload, and are you excited? I don't know. I don't know the world of remakes and all that, so I, I assume there's hype behind it. I hear people talking about it, and it was enough for someone to push it to the front of the line. So thank you, Keats, and thank you to everyone that you see here. Thank you to my Platinum members. I cannot be here without any of them. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse in the Auditorium. Take it easy.